Hey guys, Jenna here. Welcome to my channel where I take you on tours of tiny and unique homes. Today we're traveling back to Incredible Tiny Homes Tiny Home Community to take a tour of Martha's beautiful container home. Martha took a big risk downsizing into a tiny container home in rural Tennessee after being inspired by watching YouTube videos. Maybe a video just like this one. Could you be next? Well, if you like videos like this one, make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell because I publish one to two new videos every single week. Now, without further ado, let's jump right in and take a tour of Martha's Container Home. Hi, I'm Marta Aguirre. This is my tiny home. We are located in Newport, Tennessee. It's a tiny, tiny, tiny town. There's not much here, but we are close to Asheville and Knoxville and some other bills, I forget right now. And we're close to the entrance to the Smoky Mountain National Park. So I've been hiking a few times and it's just beautiful. I was looking for where to put a tiny house for years. I wanted a tiny house for years, but I just couldn't find a place where to live legally. So one night I was looking at many YouTube channels of tiny houses and Randy Jones, the owner of this company, was talking about a community and I was, wait, what is it? A community? I sat up all night. I watched all his videos. And he was starting a community. There was nothing here. But he had the vision of what it was going to be. And he also built tiny houses. So I emailed them. And then the next morning, somebody from his office emailed me back and said, we have a, a spot available. And I sent a deposit right away. And I told my family, I bought a tiny house. And they said, where? I said, in Tennessee. From who? I said, from a guy. It's a guy on YouTube and I send a deposit and I have a lot in a tiny house. There was something about Randy. I mean, he has charisma and he was, he's just so passionate about what he's doing. It is contagious. You, you, you want to believe. We have wireless internet. And that is about $70. That's the most expensive. And my electric bill, it has been between $30 and $34 a month. Last month was the highest because I had the fireplace on and I had the mini split on all the time. So it was, I think it was $38 last month. So I am not retired. I work for the federal government. I work for FEMA. I work from home for the Office of Disaster Assistance. The name for the tiny house came from the neighbors. When they moved the container to this spot, I wasn't here yet, and they saw this big block box moving in, and somebody gave it the name, the Death Star. And then when I moved in here, she came in and she said, I named it the Death Star, but I'm not gonna call it that anymore because you're so nice. And I said, no, I'm keeping the name because I'm the biggest Star Wars fan and I love the name. So it stayed the Death Star. So I wanted a tiny house for a long time. I travel a lot for work and I have lived in hotels for months and months and months and realized I don't need much. And then I, I would have a house where I was paying for a house that sat empty with rooms that I never went into because I'm single and for a long time I wanted a tiny house and once I gave a deposit here I came to tour the tiny houses that he has different models and he has a model that's called a freedom and I thought that's what I wanted and I went into it and I just cannot sleep in the loft I went up on that loft and it looks cozy and beautiful but I knew that I couldn't sleep in that in close of a space. So he had a shipping container that was that they had done that was available for touring. And when I walked into it, I it was love at first sight. I knew that I I knew that that, that was the house for me. I mean I can have everything on a, one floor, 
there's just so much room for for a tiny house for someone who lives in a big house this is very small but there's a lot of room and this is a high cube so it's a little bit taller than a regular shipping container and it's a little bit more money but i think it it's worth it the base price was fifty six thousand dollars i have extras the sliding glass doors were extra the farmer's sink was extra, the big pantry was extra, and the hookup for the washer and dryer. As you come in, we have the living room. This is where I have movie nights, we have a fireplace. The one thing I love the most about the house is the sliding glass doors. You could have a wall there, but putting the doors just, it just lets so much light in and it just brings the outside into the house. Then we have, this is my dining room table and my workspace, I work from home. So this container is eight by 40. There is a lot of storage in here. The sofa is all storage. And then in the kitchen, I have so much storage a lot of these covers are still empty. I designed the house and gave Incredible Tiny Homes, the builder, the exact dimensions I wanted. So I told him the size of the stove. It's a tiny, tiny stove, but I have an oven. The farm sink, which I love, always wanted a farmer's sink, and a small refrigerator. The one thing I really wanted was the, a pantry because I didn't want the appliances to be all out in the kitchen to look cluttered. So I have a big, big pantry. And I have a dehydrator and a food processor and it all fits on the bottom. So the kitchen doesn't look cluttered. I've had parties here for eight people and we laid out the food and we had music for a tiny house. There is a lot of room in here. So between the kitchen and the bathroom is a barn door, and now we're in the bathroom. I get to have a full-size washer and dryer, a full-size shower, and then one of the best things, the bedroom. There's another barn door here. And this is the bedroom. and I get to have a queen-size bed in a tiny house. There's no room for much more, but it's all you need. I have the bed and I have two storage containers. And now we can look at the outside of the container. It's an eight by 40 shipping container. When they brought it in, there's a video when they placed the container on this lot and it was terrifying. I didn't think it was gonna fit. It was so scary, but I left it to Randy. He said it will fit. And I'm like, well, that is Randy's problem. Right now I'm in the forest. This community has three different sections. I'm in the forest, there's the beach, and then there's the prairie. The container is on a triple axle trailer. Once you place it on the final spot where it's gonna be, I think we can take the wheels off and it'll be more permanent and then they'll put the skirting on. The color, honestly, I saw another YouTube video of another container and I love the color. So I picked the same color, it's a dark gray, it looks black, but it's a dark gray. I left the original doors so once it's moved to where it's gonna stay, we will open the doors and do a deck in between them. Other than my container, the best part is the community. The people here are so nice 
and so friendly. I've had people here for coffee, I hop around, I have drinks with someone, coffee with someone, walks with someone. We don't have to lock our doors. I had a 20s Gatsby inspired murder mystery dinner here two weeks ago and I had eight people here. I, I have lived in a lot of places and I never met my neighbors and I've been here three months already and I have met just about everyone and have made friends with a lot of people already. And I, th I think that what he did creating this community, giving us a place where to put our tiny homes and where people who think alike can get together, it's, it's just amazing. So I thought about this lifestyle for a long time and it's not conventional. You know, I had to convince my family, but it's perfect. Thanks for watching this week's video. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And if you'd like to see a tour of the incredible Tiny Homes Tiny Home community where Martha's parked, check out the link in the description.